Just got this box of goodies. The Sony XAV 7000 with amazing speakers. The accessories needed to install uh, the audio system on my uh, 2020 Electra Glide the standard. This comes from Fathead Cycles. Plug and play. Pretty much gonna follow a video that Fathead Cycles put out themselves. I'll just show a few things during the, during the install that I think are significant and I had a problem doing or were challenging. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chotec. Switching over to the 787. Hey guys, just finished installing the Sony XAV7000. I don't want to tell you, this was a long install and I think it was my uh, most difficult video ever because it's, this is new to me. I never uh, done anything like this. Meeting things for the first time, watching videos on YouTube, how to do it, trying to figure it out by myself, filming it and later on editing it. So really long yet interesting and informative video. Why I think you should watch this video. Uh, Fathead Cycles put out a great, great video showing you exactly how it's done. But keep in mind, those guys are professionals. They do it every day, so many times. And me, it's the first time I'm doing it. It's probably gonna be your first time as well. So I'll be showing you in this video a few tips and a few uh, things that you uh, come across for the first time and how to, how to overcome it. I went step by step in how to install on a Harley Davidson Electric Glide uh, standard. How to install the speakers, the head unit with hand controls. It's not a complicated thing. You need patience, you need the right tools, of course, and I hope you enjoy it. And at this stage, just before we jump into the video, I'd like to ask if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and that's it. So let's dive right into it. First step is taking the fairing off. There are seven bolts in total using a T25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you release those, the outer fairing is out. Got all bolts out, but one, the middle one. Slightly took it out and then you can actually take out the windshield, put it aside and then get ready for the last one and make sure to hold the fairing. Once you take that lax screw out, it's gonna fall. Disconnect that, that connector with this side and the fairing is out. Next step, one and two, T25 bolts that need to be taken out so we can take out this this vent since this is the first time for me doing this i'm going to actually go ahead and mark each one of the bolts that i take out so i'm going to put a little uh put in a little bag or tape and write uh, what part they uh came off so just a little tape surrounding wrote my air vent you know, they might also be all the same, pretty much the same bolt. I'm not sure, but I don't want to take chances at this stage is mark them and store them all together. Now this vent just pulls right out gently. Okay, I got it. There you go, and it's out. Next step is to take this whole plate out. For that, we need to move all the wiring over here and then unbolt T25s, one, two, three, four, five, six, and four of these, which are Allen, but also can use T25. One, two, three, four, and one last one is right here. I like to take a short video or just a, a picture of where each connector goes so no when I need to put back uh, things together again I know to put it back these these are bolted in pretty hard and I attempted initially to go t25 although they're Allen so I slightly stripped the head 
which I think is a wrong idea to go T25 initially. Try to get a long Allen where you're far away over here, get some torque into it, and once you loosen it, then you can switch back to T25s to go deep in. So out, pull it out gently, carefully, watch out for these harnesses. And now it's clear. Next, T25 bolt out of here, unscrew, and then release, release this uh, connector with uh, there are two latches on the side, just with a flat, flathead uh, screwdriver disconnected. Connector is out, speedo's out. Allen, one, two, three, four. Unbolt them, take them out. That's what holds this whole uh, glove box in place. Bolts are loose. You don't need to go all the way out. You just pick it up and you're done, the glove box is out. Now we need to get the speaker pods out. And for that, we have T25's three bolts. Sorry, Allen, one, two, and where's the third one? Right there, all the way in. And additionally, there's three 716s bolts right here. Those are tricky and difficult to get to. I'm trying to show you one they're in there three of them two and another one we can't really see hidden that's where we want to start we'll start with those a ratchet and a socket here you need to work with different lengths of sockets you need a short socket some of the times you need uh one of the bolts you need a long socket very tricky they have to fiddle around and i used the long socket for at one point and then a short socket but definitely a tricky uh tricky spot for these bolts really important thing that doesn't that doesn't appear in any other videos they always start with the right tell you that the left side is the same mirror these three bolts the 716 bolts are a killer and i was unable no matter what socket i tried long short to move to get it out to get to get even get uh my wrench to it so i had to take out these two uh plastic clips one was here connecting it to here and one was here connecting it to here and pull this whole thing out and move it to move it aside so i can get some space over here to put my uh ratchet in I mean, I tried with with a open wrench, a closed wrench, short socket, long socket, you name it. I was just unable to do it. So these are killers. Make sure you need to move this. The speaker pod out. Connectors are out. Now it's pretty much using the you know the provided connecting wire through the bottom right here. There's a hole installed in. Push them through that hole with uh, the rubber grommet and clipped the plug on the side. Now we're going to put in uh, one of the speakers. Connectors that are, one is uh, thick, uh, one is, you know, narrower, so you can't really get it wrong. And so, so is the uh, plug itself. So you can't really get uh, the wire wrong. Nicely installed, screwed in. Now we put it back up. Back. Start with the outer bolts, two, and three. Okay, got the Allen screws in, one, two, and three. Now we're gonna work the bolts, the tricky bolts in, and I'm not tightening it all up uh, yet. I'm just keeping it loose. Bolts. Screwed in and tightened the bolts, the tricky bolts over there. Now gonna connect all the wiring that's needed. And then do the other side. It's not, it seems like, uh, you know, there are only like six bolts and it should be an easy job and quick job. The thing is they're very tricky. Access is not easy to them. So it does take uh, a good amount of time just to figure out how to get in and how to work your gentle dexterity, you know, finger work over there, so.
a lot of patience. Same thing to the other side. Took it off. Put the, the, the wire through. Made sure the grommet, the rubber grommet is uh, nicely seated over there. And now connecting wide to wide and narrow to narrow. See that one is narrow, one is wide. Mount it back on that side. And I wanted to emphasize that I think the biggest tip you can get from this, from this video is to disconnect these two uh, plastic uh, fasteners. I'll show you in a second that were here and here. And it enables me to move this whole thing aside. Once you have that, uh, you know, flexible and able to move from one side to the other, it's so much easier to get access to these uh, crazy bolts, which are a killer, a killer. So now I'm gonna fasten uh, back these uh, two and continue with the radio itself. That's it, now you see both clips are back in place. The whole thing is centered and that was a lifesaver. Connect the speakers to the appropriate uh, connecting uh, wires. And of course, get uh, the uh, USB, or actually this is the charger. This is a 12 volt outlet connected with this. Self remember this box that we used before, the glove box. These four bolts, we're gonna be using them to mount the Sony, the stereo itself, the system, the receiver itself. XAVA X7000, take it out of the box and place it right here where these four places where the bolts go in. Here it is. They already mounted it on the mounting plate. The four places where the bolts go in and it's got a ready to go, all plugged and the harness all ready. And tighten down all four bolts all around. One, two, three, and the fourth one. Thread it in and then bolt it down with the Allen wrench. Now this guy goes back in. Need to find the proper bolt, but I have it, of course. Somewhere here. There it is. Speedo. And connect the plug. The tray goes back in and bolted through all the bolts that we put. Two in the back, two on the side of each side, and four on the top. And last but not least, one over here, a single one that went right here. Put it in, now I'm gonna put the first bolts here and there in the back. Then I'll go to the sides. These two in, one, two again, not snug. And the side bolts, one and two, that's next. Both sides. One, two, now three and four. Then these four. Four, they actually provided in the kit, these four screws. They go in uh, instead of what we had before the T25s. Now once all screws and bolts are in, I'm gonna tighten them down fully. Okay, I went through my screws and found one uh, extra screw and realized I never put in this single screw that holds in the glove box with the tray, so put it in now. Wiring is next. Vehicle antenna adapter cable, this goes in the back of the unit itself, right there. 
right there, all the way on the left. Okay, this system has two USB inputs. Uh, USB one on the right side over here and it's clearly uh, labeled. This does everything. This does connects your phone, charges, and uh, enables uh, Apple Play and Android, uh, Google, whatever it's called. Number two is just for a dongle or something like that, a memory card, a USB. I'm gonna be using number one. It's short as you can see and it doesn't fit, doesn't go all the way into the, the little glove box that uh, we have in front but the kit actually provides an extension so i'm going to run the extension inside and then connect it with usb1 let's run the extension cord through the back of the glove compartment fasten it over here and then uh, connecting this extension with the usb number one right here it's cool so i like uh, every uh, connector to put with uh, some uh, electrical tape the main harness is this harness that connects from the radio and it's a plug and play with the connector coming from the bike the rest of the uh, wires just go on the top there's no no connecting needed and there's uh, like a confusing harness coming out and it's this connector and as I've seen on the video from uh, fathead cycles they say there's no uh, need to connect this it's just being gonna be tucked in later on now we're gonna move uh, and connect the radio antenna to this place and now just run the antenna around the fairing the right side of the fairing tucked it in across all the way to the left now it should be working let's Let's check out the radio. Oh, nice. 109. It came set already. Let's trick uh, the radio. They're able to do it because the businesses were donated. <laughs> Okay, pretty cool. Got the radio installed. Now we're off to the hand controls, which uh, Fathead Cycles has a different video for it. So search it up. I'm gonna run it and start the install on mine. Additionally, I'd like to uh, give you a great suggestion. When you're putting in the hand, uh, the hand controls, take a look at the new ones before uh, you would take off the uh, old ones. Because then you'll be able to figure out the latching over there and later on when you're trying to get your uh your uh hand uh, controls uh, off the bike you'll uh, realize how it's done where to put the screwdriver in and uh, click it out okay the kit includes lighted hand controls so to get those on uh, we need to start with the left side get the uh this toggle switch which is the odometer switch Get it out. I used a flat screwdriver right over here, gently pried it out and pushed it to the left and it's out. From there on, you need to unscrew T25 screws, one here and one on the bottom. Unscrew these two. They don't come fully out, they stay inside. And then just take that bracket off. Okay, I must say, taking out the two T25 screws is okay. The front part falls off. It's this. Then you need to unscrew or loosen up these two T27s. Make them loose so this moves uh, loosely. And then you need to play around between this module and this. Pull it. Try to pull it apart. And you need to wiggle it a lot. Make sure that when you're doing it, look over here to see that it disconnects. And then finally, when there's enough distance, the back clamp is gonna come out of, out of this area, right? Right here. Right now, there's enough place for it to come out. Now what we need to do is we need to take this whole plastic assembly off. 
the way to do it, there's this little, right here, this little, this little tab right here. You need to come with a screwdriver right under it and click it open. Don't be afraid. Once you do it, clicks open and that whole thing opens up. You see? And then you can take it out. Now, once it's out, we need to disconnect this harness and then we put in the new assembly. Now, this is the new one where you can see it has uh, the joystick for the control for the system. We need to plug this in, this plug, then channel the wire on the side over here on the top and snap it back on. Make sure that the plug is in and then you route it around this little channel and then it goes in to the channel and it wraps around and then it clicks on. Once it's installed, I'm closing in the black, the back plate, the metal back plate and the front. Uh, this time I loosened this really, really, really loose. So I was able to move it around and got this one out. So I'd like to clarify one misunderstanding that I had uh, when setting, setting up the uh, hand controls. Two hand controls are set up properly, nicely done. Now, when you come for the, uh, for the programming, it seems like there's two modules on the back, but as a matter of fact, only one of them needs to be used. The one that says the SWC harness. And this one, I don't know what it is, but it's not being used. Took the plastic off and these two, uh, holes over here. One is the blinking light that you'll see once you turn it on and one is a uh, clickable. You small, small screwdriver goes in, you, you press it in for three seconds. Now, once uh, it starts blinking uh, green, red, green, red fast, you go ahead and start clicking up the joystick. Each time you click, you make sure uh, that it's still blinking. The minute, the minute you see uh, this light turn into green steady green blinking that's when you stop clicking that joystick and wait it's going to go through a sequence of red i mean green blinks then it's going to switch over to red blinks and then it's going to be red solid at that point you have your hand controls and both controls are synced at the at the, the left side so once you're synced with that module you don't need to go through the right side the right side is going to be working so let me show you what it looks like now Sony's on. Now volume. Volume down. You can see that it's going down. And also the right side is actually switching the stations. So just one sync is needed from the left side with only this, this unit. And both sides are synced and working. Now I'm going to close up the fairing reverse of what I uh, took it apart. Put the vent, the air vent in, one and two bolts. Now I'm going to bring the the fairing, the outer fairing. That's it. All bolts, four bolts around around the fairing are tightened. The windscreen bolts are tightened. It's all done. That's it, guys. That's it for now. I'm gonna take it out, clean up over here. And my next video, I'm going to show you what that uh, this uh, Sony system does. Appreciate uh, you sticking around. Hope uh, this video actually helps you with your, your install. Uh, go ahead. If you have questions, I'll answer. Just uh, put your question down uh, by the description and I'll answer the questions. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed and you want to see more of these videos, please do me a favor. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. That's it for now. Until the next time, I'm Sandy. Peace out. I have time for more time. Wow, you turn the lights on. Sick Harley.